Hi there, Sagittarius. Welcome in. This is your May 2024 Zodiac reading. A general reading, of course, so take only what resonates for you and leave the rest. So, Sagittarius, what I'm doing this month for everyone as I am pulling an animal spirit card for everyone. You got two. You've got the vulture and the owl. And something, I love the vulture. Um, actually, I, I just um, took a photo of one yesterday. And owl is, is definitely a beautiful omen for so many people, you know, the spirit animal. But I, I wrote down with the vulture, something being brought back into balance. A perceived mistake is actually discovered as being a blessing. And it, it's something that's highly misunderstood or someone that could be highly misunderstood. Or perhaps the, this energy is you where you're misunderstanding something, where you thought something was a mistake and um, it actually turns out to be a blessing. And the owl is all about abundance and beauty and wealth and fortune and good luck and things like that. Not necessarily good luck, but that just flew out of my mouth. So um, take it if you want. Um, it's about, you know, clairvoyance. So seeing something from a new perspective. Um, I'm, I'm hearing, so let's take a look. Let's get some more information for Sagittarius for May 2024. You may be seeing images or actual um, sightings of both of these um, birds. They are air energy. So seeing things, seeing the truth from a higher perspective. Take a look about, let's see what's this thing for Sagittarius for 2024, please, Spirit. Thank you. What is, what is the major theme here in May 2024? Got door to value. Oh, there's your abundance. I have a feeling it has something to do with not financial abundance, though. Perhaps this is, you know, we are in Taurus season as I'm recording this. I'm recording this May 1st. So um, we are in Taurus season. That's, you know, seeing your worth, seeing the worth or, or the value of um, yourself in a situation. I, I was really drawn to that. A perceived mistake is actually a blessing. So let's take a look at, oh, I forgot, you chose your own your own deck today. I've already pre-shuffled. So let's uh, get the deck going in the right direction here, Spirit. All right. For Sagittarius, please. Let's do three, three, and three. Let's take a look at your energy. Knight of Pentacles, Two of Cups. You know, this could have to do with a connection that you're in, not seeing um, its worth or its value. We've got the hangman. Yeah, you are definitely seeing something from a new perspective here. We've got a fool, which puts you on a new trajectory, I'm hearing. Tell us more about this new path. Seven of Cups. Options. Could be confusion. Could be something that's been in the works for seven months or or um, will come about within seven months. Which is what, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, end of the year. <laughs> yes, I use my fingers. Fingers and my toes. Now we have. What else can you tell us about the situation for Sagittarius? The door to value of May 2024. And that one, please. Taking the one that flipped. Knight of Cups in reverse. For some, I'm hearing that you have to, you're going to be leaving behind someone you care about, 
um, have great affection for. It's interesting how that's coming out with the, with the King of Cups. But um, for the majority, this is about um, you know, I, I don't read reversals, but this is they want this in reverse. I don't know, maybe you've already left somebody. Could be in the past because a fool is in the past position here. And you thought you had options, but um, none of them fulfilled you. There were, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm hearing um, things fell flat for you on, you know, all these options, you keep great options, great opportunities, but something always felt flat for you. How does the, the month close out, please, Spirit? What's the energy? The Emperor taking back your power in something. The devil. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Capricorn or, boy, you know what? I forgot what the fool is. Aquarius. So there we go. Doesn't have to be. Could be a Scorpio. Find a card, please, here. Taking their time here. Gotta get it right. Here we go. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. The package is here. <laughs> I'll fidget. You watching them? Spirit, can I get before I go through this? Get that? I think they even brought it upstairs. You could hear the guy running. <laughs> All right. Thank you, FedEx. King of Cups. Why is this here in the reverse? Something fell flat emotionally. Queen of Cups. This is a connection. You're definitely dealing with um, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It does not have to be, but. Um, definite connection. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles in reverse before I move ahead here. Five of Pentacles. I'm hearing there. Um, you're not sure if there's enough to build on here. Are you sabotaging a situation here, um, Sagittarius? I, I want to go say spirit. <laughs> I'm just so used to that word coming out of my mouth. Sagittarius. Well, here we've got, you know, Knight of Pentacles. How is it on the table to me? Yeah, Knight of, Knight of Pentacles. Come on. Come on, Mary Jo. Two of Cups. Hangman. I feel like this is saying to me it's taken you a while, a long time, not a while, a long time to see the truth about a connection. Like maybe that's why this is in, in reverse, the King Cups. It's like you didn't see how much somebody really loved you, how much affection they had for you um, in the past. It feels it feels past doesn't feel present um tell me give me more on the seven of cups please spirit 
Thank you. I mean, it. I feel like you took a new, a different direction here. Wishes, dreams, fantasy, I'm hearing. So what you thought was fantasy actually turned out to be, here's your blessing in disguise, yeah? You know what they say? A, a perceived, a perceived mistake. It, I don't believe anything's a mistake anyway. Everything happens in accordance to our soul's plan. It's how our human um, reacts or responds to it, how it views it. it. That's what the key the key is. You know, it's actually a blessing. So where there were, was confusion, you, it is, you're seeing the blessing in it. So I feel like whatever, whatever this was for you, Saj, that in the past that you, you, you're taking, you're taking it and you're learning from it. You're seeing the worth and the value of, um, the moments, the moments. Got the fool here. And again, I'm really being drawn that in the past, um, it's like you set set a firm foundation or you planted a seed for a new journey. You know, decided, you know, take control of your life, you know, a situation or whatever. You're really drawn to the past. It's really funny. Um, yeah, I'm... What, okay, what, why why is this emperor calling my name here? Why are you? What do you got to say, emperor? Okay. Yeah, I'm hearing no reversals in this. Nine of two nines, nine of nine of wands, nine of cups. Actually, they just want me. This emperor wants me to to focus on the fact that there's two nines. There's an end of a cycle that this emperor has got come to. Could be in a connection with others, uh, you know, a marriage. I just want to make sure nothing else flipped here. Hang on here. Okay, so I had to pause the camera and ask this this reading what it wants to say to me because I wasn't hearing um, well enough. It, I didn't feel like I was hearing it well enough. And that's that's what they want want me to draw the attention to here um, is that there aren't any swords here on the table here. There's a lot of cup energy, a lot of watery energy. What the oh gosh, and it's 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 I'm really trying to hold on to it here. So without the swords, that means it's they're not in their head. You're you're not in your head about something, Sagittarius. You're in your your heart space about something. And being there gives you clarity. It's the truth, you know. When we when we tune in. When we connect with our, our heart and our soul and the deepest aspects of ourselves, that's where clarity comes in. It doesn't come from the mind. So that's something that you have learned. And it's interesting because this is air. These are like sword energy. The messages are coming from outside of you to through your, I don't even want to say this. I can't even figure out the words to say through your consciousness, through the higher realms, into the heart space. It's the connection there. 
there is a physical connection here or a love that you didn't see the value of before. Perhaps in the past you have um, chose you chose a different path. It was hard. Perhaps it you in order to get through it you had to dip into some vices, some kind of addictions to help you get through it because it was it was hard. Clearing the karmic, uh, you know, patterns it's not easy, and and there, this is no judgment, but you're acknowledging that this was hard, and I I had to. In order to have peace of mind, you had to en engage in something that maybe now you're seeing has become an addiction. But at least you're seeing it that way. You can you can turn it around and get on the other side of it, right? In order to, you know, so, so making this decision to start something new, you know, yes, you made a decision not through the mind, but through some clarity that came in with the hangman, you, you gained some clarity and that clarity was just perhaps it could just be your sense of self-worth, you know, um, maybe that's what you were, you, I'm hearing you went looking for your self-worth. And you thought, number one, you had to walk away from one connection and find it in another. Perhaps you were married and you left and you came back and went back. Um, but this new journey, you knew it was going to be hard. You knew you would, you would have to face a lot of your past issues and your past patterns and the past with the person you were returning to. And you, you, number one, you know, you were hoping that it would make you happy, but it didn't. It, it didn't fill your heart. It, it, it left you flat, Sagittarius. But the good thing is, is that now you can see that. Now you can build something for yourself, something that's, you know, you get to control. It doesn't control you. But I feel that you're, I have a feeling that this is where you want to go back to. This is what you've been in. See what I'm saying? And the wish, the dream through the healing, which is the healing comes from the going within and getting the aha moment seeing things clearly, the clairvoyance with the owl, you know. Okay, thank you. So I'm getting with the Seven of Pentacles is, this is about putting the past in the past. There needs to be new seeds planted. So this is like rototilling tilling the whole garden. Maybe taking, you know, keeping some of the good bits and throwing out the rest but I feel like there's a little bit of a worry here that there isn't enough to build on or maybe this is all you've got to offer and you're willing to build on that um, I, I, I feel that you're not only seeing your own value Sagittarius you're seeing the value in a connection that you Take a look at that Two of Cups. What, why, how did Sagittarius used to view that connection? What is the new perspective? New perspective is sun. That's, that's one thing. I kind of skipped over to the hangman there. Tell me about this Two of Cups. Yes, this happiness, it's joy. You want a fresh start. Yes, that's, that's the truth. You want a fresh start. That's your title here. Um, so I'm not getting any information of the past where this connection was. Maybe, you know, it's quite possible. I keep saying maybe, and I don't often say that. I mean, it is a good possibility that that the, you saw this connection 
as just an option and that became too toxic for you as I'm reading down this way. Can you, yeah, you can see. Um, let's take a look at this devil card, please. This devil energy. The emperor is seeing something very clearly, taking taking back its power. You know, and I, I'm hearing with the emperor, it's it's taking back the power that they have knowingly and unknowingly given somewhere else. Three of Swords. Yeah, you know, something, I feel, here's, now here comes the Swords, you know. Here comes the Swords with the Two of Cups and the, and the Devil. Now comes the clarity. Now comes the thinking. No, it's not about thinking. Wow. Queen of Swords, Five of Swords, Six of Pentacles. I feel like in the past, um, or maybe this is even now, that you're trying to convince yourself that that this is, is not, it's like you're trying to justify something here, and I'm not quite grabbing. So yes, you've you know there was disappointment, there was hurt, there was um, something very toxic. Perhaps a mindset, perhaps a pattern, a connect, I don't know. Um, Queen of Swords, Five of Swords, cutting up that toxicity so, so you can bring something into balance. Thank you, Vulture. Um, what did the Vulture say? Being brought back into balance. I was asking for a little more information on this Five of Pentacles and Seven of Pentacles in reverse. I've got the Ace of Wands. I said, I was asking, where do we go from here? New beginning, fresh start. You're being offered, Sagittarius, an opportunity to start something new with someone that you left behind, someone that you didn't see clearly. A situation you didn't see clearly um, definitely feels like a connection you know take it how it resonates for you it could be a job um, situation which I, I don't I'm not feeling that big time but um, in order to cover all my bases here uh, it just it feels like definitely a connection because there's one connection here but there's another connection here they don't feel um, these cards don't feel like they totally fit each other. They do in only a, in, in the sense of um, Sagittarius that you didn't see. Number one, you weren't, you didn't want to pay attention to how you felt about somebody. And you also didn't want to pay attention to um, maybe the emotion was too much for you and, and you had it just thought you could shut off the valve and, it, and you couldn't shut off the valve you know this hurt you know it was toxic for both of you to be you know together un, unhealed and then you went into another situation and then that became such a delusion um <laughs> situation uh, or, you know, for whatever reason you went back to some some other situation to clear something up because you didn't see the value in the connection that was standing right in front of you. A connection that was standing right in front of you. You didn't see the value in that. You didn't see the worth. You didn't see the, the blessing in disguise there. Or maybe you didn't want to. Maybe, you know, you could have chosen not to see it for whatever reason, but now you see it. Now there's clarity. Now there's truth. Now there's enlightenment and, a, you know, fresh new energy. You can see it in a whole new light here. Okay. 
but I feel like you've got to hurt the situation that you went back to even though it, it turned toxic you you not that it turned toxic it was like you went back into some toxicity some energy that was controlling and manipulative and actually an illusion it's like it's like amongst all of this you you, you realize that you were never stuck anywhere. You were never trapped or, you know, bound to a situation as much as um, was perceived. I feel that you've learned your lessons in this connection that you went back to. Even though it wasn't emotionally fulfilling, it, it gave you, it taught you a lot. You know, it, it, it put you through the, it put you through the, um, I'm hearing ran you through the trenches, Sagittarius, ran you through the trenches. But it did it. So you can come out knowing your value, knowing the value of the connection that you walked away from. And seeing the value of the connection that you walked into, walked back into because it had so many lessons here. And you're seeing it. It's like you're 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 blessing the connection that you're you're leaving, and the connection that you have left. I hope you're following me here. I'm really trying to get this straight. Um, so, for example, you could have you could have walked away from a twin flame that was standing right in front of you that was in your life every day, and you you know went back to somebody that you've been with before, or perhaps you're married to. Um, and uh, you can see the, the weight and the value of both of those, you know, not only being, you know, with the twin and walking away from the twin or and walking back toward the other connection and walking away from the other connection, you're seeing the value in all of it because you found your value, you found your worth. But there is a little bit of a little bit of a trepidation by the end of the month. Is am I enough? Is this enough? Can I offer enough? I've hurt this, you know. I've hurt this um, person, place, thing, whatever it is. I've hurt this, um, you know. Maybe Cap Capricorn. I've hurt this Capricorn in the past. Can we rebuild? Can we, you know? I've taken back my power. I know who I am. I'm a sovereign being now. Can can we? Can we? Can we? And then the answer is yes. The match isn't wet. I don't know why that needs to come through. I don't know what that. That's been very interesting, but it it can be, re. Lit inspiration passion new beginning fresh growth yeah working together three of pentacles bottom of the deck something but something you know something has to end um in order to get back to this who was standing right in front of you the whole time seeing the worth and the value I feel that's the direction you're moving in let's get one final card here for May 2024 yeah you see the value in in all of the all of the lessons you see you definitely do That's why what you used to think was were mistakes, you're actually seeing the truth of them. You're seeing how valuable they were. Even even if this is just experiences, you know, it doesn't have to necessarily be talking about specific connections. This is just talking about oh now I can I can see how that experience gave value to that experience. 
and how this experience is going to give value to this. You know, you know what I mean? It's like you're putting the pieces of the puzzle together. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Lovely, love it, love it, love it. I don't know if you can hear the birds sitting out on the on the telephone wire out there. Sure, not quiet. <laughs> as soon as I draw attention to it, they. <laughs> I thought for sure they were playing a game with me for a minute there. All right, final card for Sagittarius. 2024 May. Guidance. Thank you. Ooh, I love that. Love that. Judgment. Fortitude. Renewal. Truth. Revealed. For sure. Wow. It's like a phoenix rising. I love that. Because you've, you've taken back your power. You're being given a second chance here, Sag. I, I renewal. I, I, you know, not only are you renewed, you know, um, because of this, these aha moments and, and the clarity that has come through, come through. But whatever, whatever is going to get this King of Cups to to turn upright, to fill you know, to fill you back with the love and the emotion and the the, the depth of of um, your heart. Whatever is going to do that. Actually, I feel like you're doing that with this clarity. And it's funny, you know, when you take back your power, I feel like you're realizing that nobody took it. It was all about you in the beginning, you know, to begin with, you gave your power away. It, it, again, you know, maybe not knowing you were doing that at first knowingly and unknowingly i feel like you walked through the 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 fires of hell sagittarius it's, it's just a, the vision i'm given i'm seeing a man um, or an image it's you know very tall image so a man to me and we've got the emperor here this could be a divine masculine sagittarius male or female but I'm, I'm seeing them walking, and they're naked, you know, so they're vulnerable, and they're walking through fire, stepping on the coals, and just, just head forward, and they're walking, and they can do that because they, they know themselves. They are so at peace with who they are, but you have gone through hell. You've gone through hell to get here, Sagittarius. Yeah, you're definitely, a renewal is coming. Not only are you a renewed, but I feel like a connection is being renewed here. Um, something that's been right in front of your face the whole time. Um, I, I keep repeating myself. I know that, Spirit. It's, it's just a really strong pull for me. I'm going to leave it there, Sag. Thank you for joining me. Thank you so much. From my heart to yours. Whew. Well done. I love you. Till next time.